Finally, I got my hands on a Sigma lens. It's the 24 to 70 2.8 DGDN for Sony. It's an art lens and it's known for its sharpness. And uh, today we're gonna test it out. I'm very skeptical because I don't really enjoy doing photography with zoom lenses. I'm uh, primarily a prime shooter, but uh, maybe today it's gonna change my mind. It's time to capture my first photo with the new Sigma lens. I've done some uh, looking around and I found two compositions. It doesn't look like much when you look at it uh, like this, but uh, hopefully in the frame, it's gonna look uh, a little bit different. I'm not sure if you can see the contrast here between the green and the white snow. Oh, almost uh, pushed the snow down. And uh, that's what I like about it, the crystals on the, the branches there and the snow and the green moss. So I'm gonna try to capture that in a nice composition. And uh, next picture, hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> There's no reason to keep on taking a photo, in my opinion, if you don't feel it. I've learned over time to uh, use my feelings when I do my photography. And uh, a photo is emotions, and if you feel it with your emotion, I think uh, there's a greater chance that the photo actually becomes uh, a success successful photo. So let's move on and uh, uh, find uh, the path, at least. I think I'm uh, lost. Maybe, maybe not. I hit a beautiful spot, slippery and nice, and uh, legs up, me on the back, thinking of my camera, get it on my stomach so it doesn't get hurt, and fell down. Snow on the camera, snow all over me, and uh, the phone were all over. But uh, I'm fine, the camera is hopefully fine, but uh, it's a nice test of the durability. That's uh, how I switch it. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the spot here. The beautiful little slippery uh, mother effer. And uh, that made me uh, just uh, do a dive swan on my back. So uh, nice experience. Let's get to the destination. I'm gonna to try to capture a landscape photography here. I think it's a little bit nice with the ice on the water. And actually I see some animal footsteps on the ice out there. Maybe I'm gonna walk uh, towards the end there where the, where the footsteps starts and capture those as well. I'm irritated that I didn't film it because it would be really funny to look at me floating in the air and fall on my back. But maybe next time. Just get down here in uh, one piece. I'm glad I have this so I can feel it's very slippery. So uh, hopefully you would subscribe because uh, I'm sacrificing myself for this. But uh, of course, up to you. I came from up there. You can see here it's so slippery. <laughs> Not sure if this is health and safety uh, approved. But you have to sacrifice to get it. To get that photo that you think can be nice. If you see between the trees there, there is the footsteps. So I think before it gets too dark, I'm going to try to make a composition between the trees here. And the tree, uh, the footsteps as they are going away in the horizon there. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Slippery as F. I think I'm gonna call it quits now because it's getting dark really quickly and it's quite far back to my car with the slippery slopes, ups and downs. So for my own safety, I think that's smart. 
The video is not 100%. I'm gonna make a part two. Uh, I did miscalculate the, the lighting conditions. I'm sorry for that, but at least you got some photos and you get to see uh, some of my explorations out there. It's just really, really sad that I didn't film when I felt because uh, that would be really funny to watch, even for me. But uh, anyways, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider to do that. My name is Chris and I hope I see you next time. If I find my way back home. Yes. Mm -hmm.